Hi, Forrest here. North Carolina-based filmmaker Chris Lafferay joins us today, and he's going to give us seven tips on how to make better documentaries. Let's roll tape. This episode is brought to you by Spoof Dance. Create a 15-second parody commercial and win prizes from these amazing film and video companies. Go to the Spoof Dance link below to get started. All right, Chris, tell us um, um, you have some pointers for us for documentary filmmaking. Let's get right into them. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, you know, uh, being an indie uh, documentarian, kind of a solo shot, I've kind of learned a lot of things as I've gone along. Uh, first of all, is you really need to understand the subject. You really need to know it. Um, the, you can't go in uh, and hope that you can wing it. Uh, it. You're going to be dealing with people who are experts in the field and to be uh, able to, to best bring out the information they have, you have to understand the, the subject. Um, so you can't go in without homework. So second is, you know, be a quick study. Um, if you're an indie, documentarian again you don't necessarily have the uh the resources to arrive well and uh, ahead of time into places you have to be able to to assess them pretty quickly where are you going to set up how are you going to deal with these folks you can't keep them sitting waiting while you waffle around so uh you need to be able to figure things out pretty quickly of course it's always nice if you can have uh, someone send you some shots ahead of time of what something looks like but a good example of that is um I just did a filming at a, a, a 1700s courthouse, and uh, I looked at pictures online, and it looked a lot larger than it actually was. So, um, you know, I was, had to get in there and uh, quickly assess and say, "Wow, I don't have the room that I thought I had," and you know, basically ended up doing a lot of shooting handheld for some B-roll that I did. Um, oh, which leads to the third point: B-roll, 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 and repeat. Um, one of the things that you need is just tons of B-roll. Um, you cannot shoot enough of it. You cannot get enough of it. You need it for uh, fill-ins, uh, to go over um, uh, sections where your, your experts are speaking, and you just never have enough. It, it's one of those things that will drive you crazy. And you know the, the documentary, uh, the regulators, the, the first release of it, I really was struggling for, for B-roll. Um, and so, of course, by the way, B-roll, you need it. Right. And B-roll can be anything, right? It can be video or stills, correct? That's right. It can be stills, too. So you have to do a fair amount of research. One of the things is you're getting to know the subject, you know, uh, keep track of, of websites that have information like pictures, et cetera, uh, that you may be able to go back to them and say, hey, where, where can I get this? How can I get licensed to use it, et cetera? Um, if it's a historical uh, 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 documentary, you, you really need to, to know where to go to, you know, Library of Congress, etc. Um, next, be friendly and accommodating, especially to your talent. Um, as an indie uh, documentarian, uh, rarely do you actually pay your talent to be on, on, on screen, and you really need them. And so the more that you uh, help them uh, uh, feel comfortable and with you, the better it is. And sometimes they'll give you a couple little um, bumps in the road. Just deal with them and smooth them out and uh, keep on moving. Because these, a lot of times these folks are giving you their, their time. And so, of course, it's true that you should be friendly to all your, your crew. Um, mm -hmm. so. and, and I think being friendly um, with your crew or treating them right is supplying water or, or a little bit of food and stuff like that. You know, it's the things that you may not think of. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, not taking them for granted. I mean, sometimes that's the other thing, you know, take, take a few moments to converse with them. Um, uh, next, get your releases done early. Uh, before you actually put your talent on, make sure you have your release in hand. Um, we've had situations where we've, had to bounce al along with a lot of releases and a lot of folks and trying to get them in. And it's always a pain to try to chase people down after the fact to get those releases, uh, get them up front. And, um, and the way that you do that, um, I've worked with you, 
is you have your wife um, or you have somebody, but in your case, your wife actually is the, uh, the paperwork lady. So um, yes, she is. And uh, she does a superb job at it, by the yes, way. She, does. she is a people person anyhow. And just, you know, she breaks the ice. She actually is the, the first friendly face most people see. And, and so that that's that's a really important thing and but she you know keeps up with that and just make sure that before you get someone on on film that you um you know you check do we have the release yeah okay good <laughs> um um green screen perfectly if you're going to do green screen work um there are formulas for this follow the formulas don't wing it don't hope for the best. Don't say, well, it worked last time and I did this. Do it right. Uh, you know, there, there are formulas on how much uh, illumination to get on your background, uh, et cetera. Just follow them. Um, I can tell you from experience that I had a massive amount of problems with, with green screen when I first got started. And now it is it is a cinch, you know, just following the, the process. Um, you know, don't count on luck. Uh, finally, well, it's the most important one in a way. It's always about the story, stupid. You know, it's a story. You can put as much glitz and glamour and whatever into documentary just like you can any other film. But if it has no story, if it has no heart, it isn't worth watching. And how can uh, people come up with ideas for documentaries uh, from the heart or people go out and look for these things? Well, you know, what, whatever way you, you find it, you know, try and find where the, the, the story will go. And remember, stories have beginnings, they have middles, and they have climaxes, and they have endings. Just make sure that your documentary follows a good, good path, you know. Plug your two uh, documentaries. Uh, well, actually, um, I've been doing documentaries since uh, 2012. My first one was a, a small documentary on, on carousels here. Uh, we, we have a a historic carousel here in town and uh, that kind of kicked me off and really gave me the bug and then after that I uh, did the regulators in uh, 2014 uh, which is actually the documentary about uh, the regulator movement of North Carolina from 1765 to 1771 and uh, that's one where I learned incredible amounts of information a lot of what you're hearing today came out of that and you you yourself have seen seen that since you you helped me in, in several aspects with that uh, documentary um and then most recently i've just completed one uh called uh healed by horses which is just a, a wonderful tale it it really is heartwarming uh uh a heartwarming uh, story about how people have been helped by horses um, in their lives. Uh, there, there's something called equine assisted therapy, equine assisted psychotherapy, um, and all sorts of uh, different therapies where horses are used to help people with PTSD, help troubled teens, help folks with handicaps, and you know, it's just a great story all around. Okay, Chris, and uh, my last question is if somebody were to want to contact you, ask you a few questions, you're open to that, correct? Oh, definitely. definitely. And how can they do that? Uh, well, we, we have a website, um, www.shutterreleasefilms.com. Uh, there's a contact form that way. Um, you can also find us on, on Facebook, and I'm very quick at responding to the Facebook request. So uh, definitely yeah, drop me a line. All right, Chris, thank you for uh, joining us and uh, teaching us a bit about documentary filmmaking. Okay, great. Orgus Productions is making an epic feature film comedy about human greed. We need your help filling the fictional world of the film with funny TV commercials. We call it Spoof Dance, and we have $2,000 worth of prizes. Go to our website to find out more.